Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my sister. She's in the background. Say hi. Hi. So she's hanging out in the background, but I wanted to share with you guys a theory that I thought of. And I don't know if anyone else has realized this, thought of this, whatever, but I thought of this on my own, came up with it, whatever. So I'm taking credit for it. As you guys all know, Willow is my song, my child. I love Willow so much. And so as I was rewatching the music video for the 13 millionth time, I came across something that I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> Basically, I think that each of the scenes kind of represents like a different era of hers, if that makes sense. So in the beginning with the piano, she's just in her little debut era, just writing her songs, whatever. Um, and then she goes in the piano and she comes out into the little forest area with the willow tree and the water and whatever. And so that's where she first kind of realizes like, hey, like things are kind of being taken away from me. The whole world is seeing like what's going on with my life. So that would be kind of like, I guess kind of fearless, speak now-ish. So I forgot I wanted to mention earlier, but when she kind of dives into the water, that's her basically making the decision to go full force into everything with her fame, even though she's starting to realize that there could be consequences. She still chooses like, hey, I want to go ahead and do this. But when it changes and it's her in the tent, then that's basically kind of like speak now reddish era where she's kind of realizing that she's like on her own and kind of has to fend for herself so to speak and then when it changes and she's in like the wedding dress ish thing and she's standing in that glass box that is full-on 1989 era she really wants like this love, this romance, this con just connection with people in general, but it's like just out of her reach. And yet she's in this glass box, which is kind of like the fishbowl metaphor in Lover, if you guys know what I'm referring to. Basically where everybody can look in and see her and see what's going on and everybody knows what's going on in her life. So when she opens the trap door in the box, that represents reputation. That's her going into hiding, going and finding her own kind of little corner of the world to exist in, so to speak. She's wearing like the witch outfit. It's kind of similar to what she wore during Ready For It on the Reputation Stadium tour. So that just kind of adds to the theory a little bit, I guess. Um, but since witchcraft is normally thought of as darker and like more bad, I guess, um, and reputation is like a darker, more like not bad as in not good quality, but bad as in like evil-ish album like the whole like aesthetic and everything and then towards the end of that scene she sees her love interest he's like there but like out of reach still you know she doesn't like see him see him but like he's there and, and then when she goes back and she climbs out of the piano and she's back in that little house again that's lover and that's her basically because lover was like the happy album that's her finally finding her true love so she She's talking about Taylor with her stuffed animals right now in the background, in case anyone's wondering. But, so when she goes back to the little cabin and she sees him there, that's lover because she finally has found her true love and she's finally happy. She finally knows, like, who she is and what she stands for. And so they walk off into the woods and so that would represent folklore and evermore and her just kind of going and doing her own thing. And I guess Midnight's too, because Midnight's is kind of like her own thing. But obviously Midnight's wasn't a thing at that time. So I don't know if she was planning that to stand for Midnight's too, or if it was just folklore and evermore. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. Each of the scenes in Willow depicts a different era of Taylor's life. I don't know if she did this on purpose, if it's just a coincidence, uh, but it kind of seems like a very specific coincidence. And as a Swifty, I personally don't believe in coincidences. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below more ideas that you have for videos you want to see and 
subscribe if you're not already because I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers and that would be so cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!